Good morning, Church. We're happy that you can join us today online. While we're practicing social distancing and so we can't meet physically at church, but that doesn't mean that we cannot gather in our homes and have church together online. We should never lose this spiritual intimacy with God and also this sense of community with each other. So now more than ever, we should stay connected with each other. So give friends a call, FaceTime, WhatsApp, Zoom. Call your cell group members, check on each other. Do your very best to maintain this sense of community. So what we're going to do today is that we're not going to have our usual worship service, but we're going to read a scripture together. Let's meditate on God's word. And then we're going to spend some time just praying before Pastor Daniel comes on to share the word. Uh, if you are with somebody in your home, in your living room, then I encourage you to pray out loud with your family. It may be a stretch to some of you, but let's just do it. Let's just pray out loud and pray in faith. If you are alone, it doesn't matter. You can FaceTime a cell group member, FaceTime a friend to just pray together. So let's go into the Word. If you have your Bibles with you, we're going to turn to Psalm 34. Psalm 34 verse 1, it says, I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak His praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take part. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt His name together. In verse 4 it says, I prayed to the Lord and He answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Verse 5, Those who look to Him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow or shame will darken their faces. And again, David said, In my desperation, I prayed, and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. So let's come together, and in our desperation, let's just pray. Pray to the Lord that He will relieve some of this anxiety, these uncertainties that's happening over the past two weeks. I want you to pray for those who are infected, sick, all over the world, whether it is in Malaysia, Singapore, Italy, China or US. Just pray that these people will get well. Two, we pray for the vulnerable. Let's pray for those who are a little bit older or who have compromised immune systems, that the Lord will protect them from harm and from this outbreak. Thirdly, let's pray for our government. Pray for wisdom to know how to contain this outbreak and to fight.
Number four, most importantly also we need to pray for our healthcare workers. Pray for those who are in the front line, doing their very best to take care of those who are sick. And pray for those who are doing the research that they'll be able to find and, and uh, obtain the vaccine as soon as possible. You may also want to pray for those who are suffering financial losses due to the uh, movement control order and also the economy around the world. Business owners who need to take care of their employees but they have their revenues cut in half or even some may not be able to operate their business for this entire two weeks. Now as you gather in your homes, pray for yourself, pray for your family, your cell group members and perhaps you have friends who are infected or friends who are family of those infected. Pray, pray that the peace of God will just come upon that home, that the peace of God will come and, and, and settle on that family. Lastly, let's pray for churches around the world. You know, now is unprecedented time. We cannot meet physically at church. Um, pray for wisdom to the church leaders, to the pastor, to continue to, to go forth in their ministry, to continue to do their best um, to, to maintain this community. We know right, whatever happens, the church will endure and the church will shine. In this season, I think the church must shine.
Good morning, Church. Welcome to Canaan Church Sri Hatama's online church service. I trust that uh, over the couple of days you have been resting very well at home and not going anywhere. First of all, I'd like to inform you that our speaker, Dr. Simon Cheong, is not able to minister to us this morning because of the movement control order. He has to stay at home. So he sent his apologies. But I trust that these are times, these are trying times in each one of our lives where all of us probably are worried because of COVID-19. Some of you are so worried what's going to happen in terms of your future. And some are very disappointed because you're not able to do your business, your children are not able to attend school. So there are many factors as far as COVID-19 is concerned and it has affected all our lives. But this morning, I'd like to encourage you. I'd like to remind you that our God is still in control. And when we are all faced with this such a trying time, it's so important for us as a believer of our Lord Jesus Christ that we must look to the Word of God. Because the Bible tells us that heaven and earth will pass away, but my Word will not pass away. So this morning, I'd like to encourage you by looking into Scripture. How are we able to handle situations like this in our life? I'd like to draw your attention to one powerful psalm, that is Psalm 46, verse 1 to 11. I'd like to entitle my sharing this morning, Look to God in Troubled Times. I'm going to read to you Psalm 46, Wherever you are, I'd like you to listen carefully to the precious Word of God. Psalm 46, it says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains creak with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fail or she will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes war cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. He says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Lord, this morning we want to commit our lives to you during these trying times as many are worried some are so uncertain as far as the future but Lord this morning we want to come to you we want to look into your precious word because your word is alive your word is active your word is healing to our spirit speak to us this morning to your word in the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. Look to God in troubled times. You know, friends, trouble 
can come to us in many forms and in many ways. It comes to us in such a time that we do not expect any moment in our life. It could be a personal trouble, financial trouble, work-related trouble, family trouble, and even physical trouble. Depending on the intensity of the trouble, it saps our physical energy. It tortures our mental faculty and it brings unrest to our emotional being. Worst of all, if it is prolonged and not handled well, it might put us in a very stressful condition and even to the point of breakdown and death. Whatever it is, we have to face it head on. How we confront troubles will either break us or make us. It will either develop us or defeat us. Over the last few months, the world has been afflicted and battling with COVID-19. There are bewilderment and panic all over the world. But the Word of God tells us to look to God. Looking to God calls for total dependency on Him, after which you have done all you can with all your strength and ability. What must we do in troubled times? What must we do during this situation in our life? What must we do in times like this when you and I and all over the world are trying to solve this pandemic COVID-19? There are three powerful truths I believe we can follow according to Psalm 46. I pray that you will follow these three powerful truths because it will energize us, it will calm us, it will encourage us, it will heal us. The first powerful truth is this. How we can handle situations in trouble times is number one, we must look to God, our refuge, who is able to calm the storm. I repeat, we must look to God, our refuge, who is able to calm the storm. Have faith in God and do not panic. You know, the best antidote in troubled times really is to look to God, our refuge. Psalm 46 verse 1 begins with these words, God is our refuge. Even Proverbs 14 verse 26 echoes the same truth. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and His children shall have a place of refuge. Nahum chapter 1 verse 7 says, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust Him. You know, in Matthew chapter 8, talks about Jesus calming the storm. And if you remember the story that Jesus and the disciples they were crossing through the Sea of Galilee. And while they were crossing that sea on that boat, the Bible tells us that suddenly a furious storm came upon the lake. And there were waves sweeping, tossing the boat left and right. And the Lord Jesus was sleeping. And the disciples, they were so fearful. They woke up 
And they say to the Lord, 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 help. And the Lord Jesus, he woke up and replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? And then the Lord Jesus looked up to the sky and he rebuked the winds and the waves. And the Bible tells us that it was completely calm. And the disciples, they were amazed and asked one another, What kind of man is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. You know, the disciples were battling with a major storm. They were in a state of fear, thinking that they are going to be drowned. But the Bible reveals to us that the Lord Jesus, He came. And he rescued the disciples. COVID-19, I believe, is our storm at this moment. You know, over time, the situation in such a way that from epidemic, it has led to epidemic and now becomes a pandemic. It seems like you can't run away from COVID-19. Wherever you run to, whichever state you run to, whichever country you run to, whichever continent you run to, COVID-19 will be able to catch you. You try to hide and he will find you. It seems like it is unstoppable. And this is a furious storm in this one of our lives. What do we do in times like this? I believe we need to look to God who is able to calm the storm. Have faith in God and do not panic. Have a positive faith instead of a negative fear. God is able to save you and I when we are in the storm. Why? Because God is our refuge who is able to calm the storm. The second powerful truth that I'd like to share with you this morning is to look to God, our strength, who is able to control the earth. Look to God, our strength, who is able to control the earth. Have peace in God. Do not panic. Psalm 46 verse 1 further says that God is not only our refuge. God is also our strength. Sometimes as we deal with troubles, we find ourselves so stressed. From the battle that we just give out or even give up, so to speak. We feel that the wind has gone out of our sails, that we have come to the end of our rope, and we don't see how we can keep going. But Psalm 46, verse 1 is such a comforting scripture to us. God is our refuge and strength. And this promise is even repeated in Psalm 29 verse 11. It says, The Lord will give strength to His people. Church, believe the promises of God. Receive God's strength while we are weak. Strength. It takes a lot of strength and energy when dealing with troubles in life. Sometimes our strength fades away simply because of the humongous, the enormity of the troubles we face. Or because the battle we are fighting is so intense. 
or has been going on for such a long time. In fact, troubles set our energy away physically, mentally, emotionally, and even spiritually. But whatever the cause of our weakness, if we look to God as our strength, He will be able to help us he will re-energize all of us. Listen to the great promise in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 29 to 31. Powerful scripture as well. He says he gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow tired and weary. And young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. You know, further to the story of how Jesus calmed the storm, the disciples were amazed that their master, Lord Jesus, he was able to control the winds and the waves by his spoken word. Everything was at peace under the authority of the master. The situation was calm and they were able to rest in the God who controls the earth. Peace be still, Jesus said. You know, friends, God is able to control COVID-19. Peace be still. And know that God, that He is God. Sometimes, for reasons that are beyond us, God allows our trouble to continue but strengthens us in the midst of it. We must keep looking to God, our strength who is able to control the earth. Have peace in God and do not panic. It brings consolation. It brings relief it brings calmness and strength to our soul. Why? Because God is the defender of our soul. Thirdly, there is still another wonderful aspect of what God offers to all of us. And this final truth, this powerful truth, I believe, can also help us in troubled times. That is none other than we must look to God, our help, who is able to heal our land. May I repeat? Look to God, our help, who is able to heal our land. Have hope in God and do not feel helpless. Psalm 46 verse 1 in its entirety says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in times of trouble. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is our help. You know, when you are sick, who do you turn to for help? Common sense will tell us that we will go and see a doctor for help and get medication after consultation. 
depending on what our needs are, we will normally consult the right person accordingly. You know, you and I are faced with all kinds of troubles once in a while. And troubles are so burdensome that we know that sometimes there is no way out unless we turn to God. Unless God intervenes. At those times, we find ourselves crying out to God as if that there is no way out. You know, in Psalm 108 verse 12, it says, Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. We find ourselves saying the same, even together with the author in Psalm 121 verses 1 to 8, and you listen carefully. It says, I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let you or let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord just watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. And finally, it says, The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and Forever. Our God is an expert in everything in our life. Nothing is impossible with Him. He cares for us. Whatever happens to us, we can come to Him. We can look to God as our help. You know, in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5, God says to every believer, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Even in verse 6, it says, So we say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? Psalm 46, verses 10 to 11. May I read this again? This powerful scripture. During these trying times, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. So let us look to God, our help, who is able to heal our land. And I pray that you and I this morning will have hope in God and do not feel helpless. God, in His time, is able to heal our land. You know, in conclusion, troubles come into our lives over which we have no control at times. Example like sickness, diseases, and even death. But we do have someone who help us through those times. And he's none other than our almighty God. So let us come before him. Let us put our total trust in him. And let us believe by faith that God 
is able to help us. Going through and overcome during these troubled times. COVID-19 seems unstoppable. But I want to believe by faith that our God is able to stop and eradicate COVID-19. Because the Bible tells us that God, He is the Lord over nature. He's the Lord over all diseases. He's the Lord of our lives. And we must not give up, but keep clinging on to the promises of God. In summary, let us remember these three powerful truths. What we need to do in troubled times. Number one, look to God, our refuge, who is able to calm the storm. Number two, look to God, our strength, who is able to control the earth. And thirdly, look to God, our help, who is able to heal our land. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. You know, wherever you are, maybe some of you are worried this morning in terms of the situation of COVID-19. Some of you are so fearful. Will this coronavirus hit any one of us in a family, afflict us? How long will this COVID-19, when will it end? Some of you are worried. If it is still carry on after one month or two months, your business might be in trouble. Some of you are so worried in terms of the future. Wherever you are this morning, if you are one of them, they say, yes, I need God to help me. I want you to look to God by faith and whisper a prayer to God. I want you to believe God and trust God that He is able to overcome this situation. For those of you who do not know the Lord Jesus, now is a great time for you to surrender your life to God. The Bible tells us that God loves us. And when we open up our hearts to Him, He will come to us. He will rescue us. He will save us. So may I encourage you this morning, if you are not a believer of the Lord Jesus, that you will come before Him and surrender your life to God. Father, I just want to thank you that we can come to you this morning and look to you as a source of our refuge, as a source of our strength, as a source of our help. For those who do not know Jesus, I pray the Lord that will respond to you, accept you as the personal Lord and Savior. For those who are fearful, for those who are worried, for those who do not know what to do, dear God, I pray that you will give them that added strength and give them the peace of heart and give them that everlasting hope because you are indeed the Lord our God. Father, during these trying times, we look to you. We surrender our life to you. And we want to pray, dear God, for this COVID-19. It is stoppable because you are the Lord our God. You are a God 
who is in control. You are a God who is able to eradicate COVID-19. And we ask you right now in the name of Jesus Christ, that God, you will release your healing worldwide and eradicate this COVID-19 so the lives will be back to normal again. Father, we pray for those who are on the front line, the doctors, the medical staff, the assistants, and many more who have sacrificed their life to guide and help, especially those patients who have been afflicted by this virus. We pray that God, in times like this, you will give them the added strength. The Lord, they will look to you as the refuge. They will look to you as the strength. They will look to you as the help. For those who are afflicted, we pray for healing to come upon them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray as a body of Christ, we surrender everything to you. Indeed, Lord, we want to believe by faith that you are going to heal our land. That you will protect us. That you will place a shield upon each and every one. For members of the church, continue, dear God, to protect each and every one of us. As we believe together that indeed you are always with us. So may the God of our refuge, may the God our strength, may the God our ever-present help be with you and your family in Jesus' name. Amen.